All right, greetings. Um, yeah, the time is always right to do what is right. Uh, Dr. Martin Luther King said a long time ago. So we begin our program. Thank you so much. Um, hello, everyone. Welcome to Morgan State University. Also, welcome to the Research and Scholarship Webinar Series. Um, this series is organized by the School of Education and Urban Studies in collaboration with the Division of, of International Affairs and the Star Scholars. Again, welcome. Um, in a few minutes, you will hear from our panelists and the guests about their recent uh, research publication and experiences around the theme of understanding access, space, and the success of students during the COVID-19. So then we move to the panel discussion. Before we go into discussion, um, each invited uh, expert scholar will take a couple of minutes to introduce their recent publication. Uh, next, I'd like to invite uh, Gray uh, Rivish from Duke University. Um, this came from the, one of our books in the release, uh, Global Student Mobility Series. Uh, over to you, Gray. Good day, everyone. Um, thank you for organizing this and um, allowing me to present our research. Um, I'm Gray Revis, the Academic Innovation Research Specialist in Learning Innovation at Duke University. Um, as part of our research in 2020, we explored how queer and trans students were affected by the campus closure um, due to COVID-19 pandemic. Um, each of the students in our study were living on campus in March 2020 and had to move off of campus to live with family after um, a ha campus housing closed. Um, and <clears throat> so um, we asked them, explored their experiences that in that new learning environment and how that affected their, their learning. Um, we found three overarching themes from the study that we would think need further research. First is a loss of authenticity. Um, second, a decrease in community and sense of belonging uh, within their learning. And then just generally a deficiency of mental and physical health care um, that they lost. Um, overall, students trying to complete classes at home in the online environment felt less able to show up as their full and authentic selves in online courses, mainly because they were concerned about the other people in their living environment, overhearing their verbal contributions in classroom, which meant a lot of their um, expressions in the classroom were suppressed in a way they wouldn't have been when they were on campus. Um, <clears throat> This extended much more fully to their supportive communities um, for students who considered where their um, expressions weren't affected in class um, when they were trying to connect to the student groups that they belong to on campus that became much more challenging. They um, expressed concern because um, the extent they didn't want to be overheard connecting with these groups. Um, about sexual orientation or gender identity for fear of outing themselves or exposing themselves at their home environments. Um, one student, in fact, in an interview with us actually asked to pause for a couple of minutes because he heard his father outside the door and didn't want his father to hear what we were talking about um, in the interview. Um, and then one of probably the most um, impactful things that we found was that they experienced a loss of physical and mental health care. The students living on campus had become accustomed to depending on the student health center when they had physical or mental issues that arose. And many had established health care that just abruptly stopped when they had to move home. Um, um, and many participants expressed an uneasiness trying to seek care. Um, that might out them to their family members. This was most notable for mental health care providers because when they moved most of them out of state, their providers were not licensed in the state of residence where they moved. And so um, even though the university tried to contract with online mental health service, most of them shared that the providers in their state were limited, um, were anti-LGBTQ, or they just had a hard time reestablishing um, those relationships. Um, so overall from this, this study, um, we learned that the queer and trans students continue to experience more stress in post-secondary environments, much like um, other groups of, that are marginalized. And, um, <clears throat> and at a minimum, 
universities and college should create um, more inclusive campus climates and ensure that health care for all students stays in place in case you know another campus closure like this happens. Okay, thanks. Thank you, very appreciated. This is one of the important chapters we were able to include in our book uh, projects. Thank you so much.